Force that uh, seem to be the prior pick here of a lot of the teams. And with the Matilda, it just provides so much shield. You see uh, how much Irad was taken in earlier. And with that Guided Wind, just like that, he was able to escape that clash. You see how fast the turrets are being pushed here over at the top side and the bottom side. The same case that happened also for Burmese Fools. The space that is being given here right now. Look at all the creeps. It's being taken away here uh, by RRQ Oshi up against uh, Magistar has, that has been picked off twice already in this game. Yeah, RRQ Oshi just way quicker to these objectives, putting these folks in an awkward position. Hiko, very low. Skylar rushing in, able to deal the final blow and gets back out to safety with the power of Entropy. Five to two on the scoreboard and now up by 4,000 gold. You did see Irad pick up the blade armor too. Already prepping for Hiko as he gets a couple more of those core items such as that uh, golden staff. Mm -hmm. Magistar. To those basic attacks, but Magistar rushing in. He's gonna use the mortar coils. Oh, Sawa. Very low, Violet Requiem for the double setup. Master hits the decimation, takes down Okta. Irad's still alive. The linebacker now maybe able to go in, but Rat's very low. We'll go back to Skylar, find Sunset Lever from afar. Six to three, RRQ Hoshi leading the early game. Let's take a look at that replay. Nice Circle Eagle there for, uh, from the side of RRQ Hoshi. Um, they got that nice setup from uh, Sawo though, and that tug in from uh, Kid Bomba. It was only Okta. Uh, that paid the price there and that's what we really get when you have that uh, nether realm up right like you're able to sustain anyone you're able to do all these aggressive dives that rrq hoshi has been doing even under the turret here of deus bolt here comes the uh, vision coming out from the side of uh, deus bolt i think it is going to go to the side of rrq hoshi here but here comes the circle eagle once again for brusco connecting a full bullseye on the magister able to get away though one hp escape nether realm proct octa getting away Good saves from Brusco so far with the guiding win on this Mathilda. I guess we're seeing why it's the most banned hero a game of Futures 2024. I mean, just look how well he's executing on keeping his team alive. Not only providing the escapes, but providing the shields when necessary to negate the damage. Wow, look at the the, the gold here of uh, Banana, 6,370. A whole lot more than what Kin Bomba has, who's standing at the 4,399. I mean, even even the Matilda here has so much more gold. And look at this, ongoing fights all across the board. Sawo, unable to get that, that set up, but Iran's uh, taking up a lot of the damage this time, not able to get out the Blazing Duet to clear out the waves. And that is going to be the Irad for the price of uh, taking in the turrets here it is still going to be deus bolt finding something out of that one it's funny you're talking about bananas gold he even had more gold than hiko and he's in the gold lane <laughs> that just shows you how well mm -hmm. banana is performing today as you are going to go ahead and see the lord take the tier two turret on the bot side the map opening up for the side of rq hoshi claiming majority of the real estate produced volt so far having a hard time responding and now down by 5,000 gold highest kills on the game is a tie between skylar and banana a battle from the side lane is who we mentioned having such a strong game especially when they went up against team little gun they had a hard time just beating them on the one-on-one -on -one matchups in the side lanes and this is where rq hoshi thrives you're able to see Skylar often be able to beat mm -hmm. his opponent in that lane. And the same thing with Banana running the Benedetta, able to out-rotate. But speaking of rotation, mm -hmm. Sawo oh, checks the nice push. Setup. Fish migration in for the setup. And now the Nether Realm response from RQ Hoshi, full sending it. Kibamba, very low, gets away from Banana. Electro final blows to safety. And neither side will find any casualties. Oh no, but Irad right in the middle of everything. Sawo does not have that setup just yet. Irad can pretty much tank up any of the damage being tossed out here by Deus Bolt. 10 minutes in, RRQ Hoshi with a 32k lead. And of course, the real estate that is really pricey these days. And something that RRQ Hoshi definitely has in this game. Not only that, they can also get all of the resources around the map. Deus Bolt not able to take anything in as of the moment. And 30 seconds in, we're going to be seeing the first lot of gains spawn in the land of dawn as for deus bolt they really need to have these nice setups coming out from uh from kid bomba or sawo here and so far they've been getting it but what's really hard is octa's been popping in that nether realm which is kind of 
like everybody's health is all the way back up to full so pretty much nullifies uh, what the setups are doing but what they really need right now is gonna be the blazing duet coming out from Hiko I saw that he actually picked up the uh, demon hunter sword already maybe going in for the uh, golden staff for his next item so he should be able to dish a great amount of damage once it at least reaches the 15 mark of the game but our Kyuhoshi is not letting up they're gonna be taking in the sword without any contest at all from Deus Vault and this vault needs to watch out for Skylar. He's already 2,000 gold ahead of Hiko. I mean, you see how fast he shredded down that Lord, and that's just kind of a, a little bit of a preview on what he's going to be able to do if it comes to these 5v5 engagements if Deuce Vault is not careful. Now, they need to find a way to turn this around, right? It's not too far out of the ballpark yet for them to have a chance to turn this game in their favor, but they may have to start playing for the late game. I mean, you're seeing this Lord crash in. They're down to their inhibitors already at the 12 minute mark. And RQ Hoshi going in for blood. Katsusawa has to use oh, Kid Baba, to get out of Skylar. We'll find Kid Baba on the top side. Elect to find a blow. The petrified There's the petrify. the stun. You're going to see Blaze Duet force down Skylar. We'll find the inhibitor opening up the base. Oh, the the Dusko, welcome. Now the counterplay. Magister very low. Nether Realm going down. Skylar with the mega kill finds Magister. Two members down for Deuce Volt and the base has been cracked open. RQ Hoshi completely dominating this last 12 minutes. Oh, it's only uh, Sunset Lover. Sawo and Eagle left to defend. Can they make it? There's a lot of minions coming in here, crashing in the base of Deus Bolt. They still got that blazing duet, though. Can they defend this one? 12 minutes in. RRQ Hoshi just taking it in. Kid Bobo with a nice tug, but there comes the clap Whoa. back here from RRQ Hoshi. Banana! Wow, two for the price of none. RRQ Hoshi. Everyone's still alive right now. Yeah, but the Astro Echo does connect, providing a lot of slow on RQ Hoshi, but they're still taking the fight to their home turf. They're not pulling no punches today as they're going to try and go in for some more. Looks like they want that last inhibitor turret. It may fall. These Volts trying to contest, giving it their all, but RQ Hoshi holding that Indonesian flag high, letting them know, Viva RRQ. These Volts definitely need to find a way to turn this around. 11.3K for 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 skylar here and he goes standing at nine thousand. yes he does have the core items here of the claude but the timing here of the nether realm too is something that they have to watch out for not to mention the free hits here of skylar who hasn't been shut down just yet four zero two uh four zero one rather on the nathan 45 seconds in one more lord here could actually be could actually be in here for for the side of Dio's fault. They got the Nathan here. They got the Barrett's to tank everything up. Not to mention the shields that Brusco have been providing. Iran has already picked up that immortality, so kind of gearing up for that final fight here up against Dio's fault. The shield play has been called out though. Space migration for the knock of death is welcome going down. Sawo taking some heavy hits is going to be able to get out to safety making the most out of the Guinevere with engage and disengage from that space of migration. But now look at RQ Hoshi already on to the next objective. They've been doing this this entire game. That hive mentality, everybody moving as a unit, gonna go in for this Lord and Deuce Wolf's not in a position to contest, but they may try to as look at Kid Bomba thirsty for a set. He needs to open this up for Deuce Wolf if they have a chance. He has the I'm offended ready, mm -hmm. but can he get it? He's gonna Brusco? use it. He finds Brusco, but is that the target he really wants? Brusco able to get away. That is Banana the from the back, not though. the target you want. Banana wrapping around the backside. Elect the final blow. Look at the blazing duet from Hiko connected to the members of RQ Hoshi, but not dealing massive damage. Major utility off the board for both sides, but RRQ Hoshi gaining control oh, no, Skylar, of the Lord no. Pit. Now they're going down. Skylar will find Sawo. They're going in for the kill. They don't need the Lord. They want to finish oh, it. Oh, Banana's they are on up the, the chase. Banana with the split push capability showcasing his mastery on this Benedetta, forcing Deuce Waltz back into the base, and they will claim this Lord uncontested. You see how RQ Hoshi was just baiting out all of those ultimates, baiting those purifies from the side of Deus Vol, so they don't have anything once they head into the Lord fight. It was a free Lord for RRQ. Banana even cleared out that wave on the mid side just to make sure that the minion waves will go to the side of Deus Vol, pressuring them to go back to their base. 15 minutes in, 50,000 for the side of RRQ Hoshi. It's almost an 11k lead for the kingdom. And they're looking to take in this first game up against Deus Fault. Here comes the Lord. 50 minute marks, the enhanced Lord for the side of RRQ Hoshi. The only thing here for Deus Fault to do is to have that setup. But right now, the mobility, the shields that is being provided here by Brusco is not something that they can easily deal with. Here comes the setup from the side of Sawo, but Brusco comes in with a clapback. 
Yeah, Astro Echo will connect too as well. Force out the Netherrealm. Octa gets killed. Skylar finds Cywolf. You're going to go ahead and send the Blazing Duet. Go down. Lord almost burst it out of the game, but makes his way to the base. Crystal, 50%. Octa gets a double. Takes out Kid Bamba. 10%. Skylar finds Hinko going down. Goes to base. Viva RRQ takes game one. Up against Deuce Fultz in group stage. Winner's match. My goodness, what a show. I mean, this is what we expected, right? A matchup just... Thank you, Hoshi, right? You mentioned map control and their turrets. I mean, they have every single turret still standing, and we are 12 minutes in. Deuce Volk's not able to execute into their game plan jumping into this match. But, hey, they may be able to turn it around if they play a little bit passively. They're definitely going to have to play for the late game, though. They can't really continue to contest. I mean, the gold is just way out there now, up by 5,000 for the side of RQ Hoshi. As you're looking at some of those items on the board, but they are going to take the fight. Rusko not going to connect with the spatial migration, decides to disengage. We are going to see this Lord spawning in the next 40 seconds. Sunset Lover with the Astro Echo connects to Okta and will hit Banana. But do they take the fight? Hiko does. Wretched in, mm -hmm. chips a little bit of damage on a Banana though. He's not worried about it. This man's just rotating around with CC with ease. Yeah, it's a 10k, a 10k for Skylar in comparison oh to Hiko, actually. Yeah, Hiko only has like less than 10,000 here. So that in itself, Skylar has managed to to pick up all the items that he needed. And, you know, you, you mentioned late game. This is definitely going to go to the carry, right? All these tanky heroes can be melted down. Not unless you get that that two-man setup. The chain CC combination from either Sawo and uh, Kid Bomba here. RQ Hoshi wasting no time, knowing that or uh, respecting the fact too that they have the late game heroes here for the side of Deus Vault. They're knocking up the Slord. One fourth HP already for the side of Deus Vault. They're waiting for the proper time to come in, but they aren't able to get in. They're waiting for in some type of play. Ooh. Astral Echo, but that's going to be RQ Hoshi getting in that Lord for free and Deus Vault just going to be letting that one slide this time. 43k gold for the side of uh, RQ as Deus Vault just struggling to even contain their lanes as of this point. I don't know how many more punches Deus Vault is going to be able to take. Is RQ Ho Hoshi very aggressive and winning every single trade. I don't think they've lost a single trade so far. Looking at uh, Kid Bomba, this is the second time he's picked up this Ruby. The last time it wasn't as effective and it's looking like a repetitive pattern. I mean, he's 0, 5, and 5. Highest deaths on this game so far and hasn't really been able to provide a crucial set with the I'm Offended that Deus Volt is kind of relying on as we are now going to see the Lord make his way down the mid lane. Yeah, here it is. RQ Hoshi knocking in the doors. Brusco once again with a setup onto Magistore and Skylar's going to pick up the kill. Lord's is knocking in the base of Dio's fall. That Skylar's going to be chunking in that tower really, really fast. Inhibitors are going to be going down here as RQ Hoshi just wasting no time, creating all the pressure on all of the lanes here. Man, this is going to be really hard. Brusco just setting up the place here for their damage deals to be able to do the thing. And now here comes Savo with the setup. And the flickers out and the purifies is going to nullify all of that. As RQ Hoshi going to still be pressuring in all of the lanes as Deus fought. So said Unable Lover, though. to do anything at this point. Mm -hmm. Hiko goes in for the blazing duet from the backside. Banana gonna be able to soak that up, but Sunset Lover with that snipe kill able to pick off one and now Bruce going in trouble too. Jumps right Bruce out, one, one half HP as Kid Bobba goes in for the flicker. Brusco goes down and that's gonna be it. Deus Volt claps back against RQ. A big turnaround miscalculation from the side of RRQ Hoshi. And it may cost them some grounding on the Land of Dawn as Deus Volt's now in control. Will they be able to claim some of these turrets and push to their base? It looks like they are going for it down the mid lane. Astro Echo does connect for the slow on a banana on the Octa Sunset. Lover will be able to take the tier one turret. Wow, this is a four man rotation coming in from Deuce Vault. Two turrets just like that. Hiko gonna be taking in a lot of the damage coming out from Octa. And that is gonna be our Kihoshi picking up another kill. Turrets are going down one by one. The turrets also expo exposed here from the side of Deus Vault. They don't have that inhibitor <laughs> onto the top side. 30 seconds in. This should be RRQ Hoshi still getting in that prime position for the Lord. They have to watch out for the snipes here coming out from uh, Sunset Lover. 305. He hasn't been shut down just yet. I love how Banana just walked down the mid lane and the entire team of Deus Vault said, Oh, I don't want no part to that. We're just going to go all the way back to the base. 
and away they went as now they're back on the defensive stance that slight advantage that they had now turned back around against them banana picking up the immortality uh bruce go having it as well a little bit of a extra blanket of security as they are getting ready to take this lord I mean, look at how fast Skylar's chucking in that Lord. They should be able to take this one. Not unless there's going to be a steal. They're way too far. As RQ Hoshi going to be stealing the deal once again. Taking in the second Luminous Lord of this game. Yeah, able to claim that Lord. Which will put him in a great advantage to possibly be able to close this out. RQ Hoshi one step away from making it to stage two in the playoffs. Deus Volt needs to find a way to contest can they stop this luminous lord in the full five-man team of viva rrq look at banana already ready trying to bait out some of that utility before the lord makes his way into the base yeah, brusco again with the setup he finds one he finds Hiko. not gonna be able to pop in that purify just to save it in for something else but right now astral is gonna connect Lord is going to be marching in the base. They should be able to chunk this down, but lots of pressure coming in from the side of Deus Bolt. They're tanking up all the bursts coming out from Hiko and even Sunset Lover. But the base is exposed. They only have one inhibitor left here, and RQ Hoshi's going to be backing away, respecting the damage coming out from Deus Bolt, too. Yeah, but you are seeing Deus Bolt starting to be able to defend very well. I mean, RQ Hoshi is down to two of their inhibitors for the mid and bottom side. And now this is officially the late game, meaning it's going to boil down to who can execute a little bit better. And now you're starting to see Deus Volt ready to take the fight over to RRQ Hoshi. They're not playing defensive anymore. It's time to play ball. Oh, it's the Octa damage. forced to use the black shoes. And you already see Astro Echo connect to three members. That is going to be Irrat, Octa, and Brusco with a little bit of that slow. Kidbamba rushing in. Needs to get a good I'm offended. Needs to get the set Deus Volt is looking for. But Brusco finds Bruce the go. It's a migration in with the Violent Requiem. Able to get out. 50% HP. Oh, there oh, goes Master. Welcome to Death is welcome. Connects to the wall for the stun. Blazing went from Hiko into the back line. Almost takes out Brusco. Still alive. Irrad, very low. Magister needing to get back. Vengeance proc by Banana. Oh, look at Finding banana, his way though. into the team of Deus Volt. Immortality's been proc. Okta in the mid lane finds Kibaba. Hiko finds Banana. Sunset Lover with the Astro Echo does connect. And that'll be a one for one trade for both sides. But they are not done. Trying to close the distance on Brusco, forcing out the spatial migration. It is a 5k gold lead still in favor of RRQ Hoshi. The XP laner for the XP laner to shut down. It's going to be a big thing here for Deus Volt to shut down gold. Uh, going to go towards their side. Looking at the items here again. This is the point of the game. 19 minutes in, you got those immortalities up. It's going to be really hard to get that pick off. Not to mention the purifies here that uh, Brusco has been doing up against either Sunset Lover or Hiko. Sunset Lover has picked up that uh, Blood Wings 2, adding up to the shield and the magic damage it can provide for the team. Low kill, co kill scores count actually for both sides, so it is going to be a matter of execution here once it reaches this mid to late game. And RQ Hoshi just going to be positioning themselves here in the Lord Pit, making sure that they take it in before Deus Volt. Astral Echo has been committed tier 2, and RQ Hoshi not going to commit anything just yet. And this is the chance they were looking for this entire game. Deus Volt may have a shot to even out this series up against RRQ Hoshi. This will all boil down to this play right here inside of the Lord Pit. And you are seeing Irad already pulling the aggro, trying to force the side of Deus Volt to engage. But they are playing passive. They are waiting. Both sides looking for a mistake to happen. Mm -hmm. Looking for an opportunity play for to engage. Still play. Goes out. Just migration. Brusco connected for the knockup, but only catches Sawo. Didn't get what he was looking for. Will disengage. Lord at 50% HP. Debu now having control. Oh, they're still going right for it. on it. Big stun oh, no, on the Brusco. Brusco. Immortality being proc. Irrat trying to Irad. get in there for the retry. Sunset Lover the will get a kill. Magister oh. is going to claim it. Four days. Full Hiko taking down Skylar. Irrat. Immortality being proc alongside Hiko side by side. But Hiko gets the double. Finds the kill. 50 to 12 on the scoreboard. And Deus Food has done it. They have turned this game around. RRQ Hoshi on the defense. Let's take a look at that instant replay. What just went down? Brusco was punished there. Magister landing in that nice Detona's welcome onto Irad before he could actually pop in that retribution. The burst is just too much here. And now Deus Bolt, the timers are ticking. It's down to Banana to defend this one. As Deus Bolt, they're looking to end this. To so turn takes around to take us to a game number three. They're knocking in the base. They can go for a straight push here. Steph, they're knocking. And they want 
have to defend SR. Team Spawn gonna be taking in game number two. We're gonna be heading towards a game number three. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a series. That's right. As you are seeing, Dan Spoot knocking on the doors for or. or